stop it. Right, uh, I'm Tom Q. Uh, I'm, well, I wouldn't call myself a comedian yet. I'm a doer of stand-up comedy. Although other people tell you I'm a comedian. Even though I'm a comedian, I'm still afraid to phone a Chinese or a taxi or a pizza. I can't phone things. So I give away from it. And if she's not here to do it, I just go hungry. Uh, people ask you, how, how did you get into comedy? It was just something I always said I would do from when I was about 16, 17. I remember watching Empire Loves Back on BBC One and seeing the likes of uh, Paddy Keighley and Jake McKean and stuff in the Empire and thinking, I wouldn't mind doing that. So I rang Terry Keyes, Terry Keyes, who's an amazing comedian by the way, he, uh, he said, yeah, come on in, do a bit. And I went in, jumped on stage, talked rubbish for five, six minutes and people laughed. And then I went more or less from the open mic sort of scene to getting paid gigs and headlining and supporting some of the bigger names. First big support slot I done was for Tim McGarry, then uh, we went after that, I supported Jake McKean in the Crumman Jail. Which was funny because we used to drive past Criminal Jail every morning when my father was dropping me to school and he used to point at it and say, son, your, your mouth will land you in there someday. So when I turned up to do the gig that night, there I was standing in Criminal Jail and I'd been landed there for things that I say with my mouth. <laughs> and, and that was brilliant, support Joe Kane was brilliant because he was one of my favourite comedians. Uh, still is, he's not dead or anything. Recently toured with Patrick Cutley on his tour around Northern Ireland, done six nights with him, which was just, that was an ambition, you know, another thing ticked off the list of things to do in comedy. There's that place that all comedians go to once a year, uh, it's Edinburgh, so I was there last year with the show and I'm heading back again this year with two shows. First show was Reservoir Dad, it was a show done last year, uh, and it went really, really well, and the guy said, me, listen, we enjoyed your show last year, we'd love to have it back again for another run. So that's Reservoir Dad, it's about me having the kids and stuff, uh, they actually feature heavily in that show. The, the show finishes with Erin, my daughter, telling the joke. But it's a video of her telling the joke, but this year she's actually coming to Edinburgh for a week and the venue that I have is child friendly, so they've said, yep, no problem, she can come along and tell her joke at the end of the show. So she's going to make her Edinburgh debut at the age of 10, uh, which means she's already surpassing her daddy in comedy terms. Uh, and then the other show is called Stand Up By Me, that's the new show for this year. It's basically about growing up in Belfast and having a mother who caught me at just about everything. It sort of pokes fun at how Belfast has changed and thinks it's a big, cool, sort of hip city now. You know, like, oh, we're, we're great. We're, we've, got, we've got outdoor cafes and we've got, like, wine bars and we've got fancy places to go now. So it's two shows every day for 22 days. So we'll go over and we'll see what happens. I'll come back tired, emotionally distressed, mentally distressed, and, and probably won't remember the names of, of the people who I live with. People go to Edinburgh for different reasons. Some people go because they, they want to get discovered or they want to get an agent or they want to get a usable quote from a review. I, I'm not really going for any of those reasons because, I mean, there's a thousand shows on every day. You know, there's a couple of hundred shows on at the same time as mine. If I go over there, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to be discovered, you know, it's it's not a place where you're going to get picked out from the crowd in it, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm basically going to improve and get better. You know, if you're doing two hours of comedy a day, two shows a day, you can only get better every single day. So it means when I come back off Edinburgh, I've got a theatre tour that's taken in Enniskillen, Normand, Belfast. Uh, it's, it's an omen, the 21st of October. Uh, I'll, I'll come back a better comedian, which means those shows, people coming to those shows, I'll get a better show.